6th grade and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Water's Part and Water and Walls Fall. Let's read Entering the Promised Land. Moses sent 12 spies into the Promised Land. 10 of them said, We will never defeat the people there. But Joshua and Gallup said, With God's help, we can do it. So, Moses has sent 12 spies to the Promised Land. But, 10 of them said, they will never defeat them. Like, if we are... Like, they're very good things, so they're very strong. But, two of them said, No, we can do it with God's help. They're very tall, they're very strong. The Gala and Joshua said, with God's help, we can do it. Frightened, the people believe the ten spies. God said only your children with Joshua and Gallup will enter the promised land. So after 40 years in the desert, it was the time. So right then the people believed the ten spies and like they were afraid to enter the promised land but so God said only their children with Joshua and Galeb can enter also Moses and Aaron also did not enter the promised land because they have sinned against God sometime so only Joshua and Galeb entered the promised land They have been sorry been forty years in the desert, and you can see that. So in the promised land, they have gone two spies. Joshua sent two spies. Question: Did Joshua and Gallup believe God would help the Israel to enter the promised land? True. Oh, why this is here? Joshua sent two spies into Jericho, then met a woman called Rahab who hide them and help them escape down the wall. They promised to spare her and her family. So Joshua sent two spies. You can see at the next for this page. And one woman knew God in Israel God. Our God was so powerful. Israel God was so powerful and they have also won many countries and so also, she knew that Israel will come enter the promised land. So, woman has hide them and promised to spare her and her family. The 
Israel crossed the Rodan River. The parts went first. Priest went first, carrying the Ark of the Covenant. When their feet touched the river, it stopped flowing, and Ron crossed on the dry land. The Israel crossed the Jordan River. The spies went. Oh, priest went first, and the river stopped brewing. Is that amazing? So they could go on the dry land. We have found a Bible jam. Again, so they saw the miracle of God parting the river this time. Jericho went, was next. The Lord told Joshua for six days march around Jericho. Then, on the seventh day, march around seven times. Blow trumpet, shout, the wall will fall down. So God said to Joshua and Jericho, for six days they should march around Jericho, and on seventh day they should run round seven times and blow the trumpet and shout there. Question was what were the priests carrying across the Jordan River when God stopped it the water flow from flowing? Number one at ten. Number two some bags and what they have been. Number three, the what I have to say. Number three was the correct answer. I don't know. And I I don't remember the name, but I know in Korean language. Okay. Joshua trust God. He did what the Lord said. And the wall fell down. They took the city. Rahab was spared. God's people began to take the promised land. So they have marched seven times and blow the thunder and shout them. So you can see the people. I don't know. A Bible jam. Baseball <laughs> So, really, they promised, promised, and spare for her family. You can see her family, yeah? <laughs> Question. Because Joshua trusted and obeyed God, the walls of Jericho fell down. True. We have got a star. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time, I will read another good story. So let's see you next time. Bye!